Hi friends, in this video let us understand how membrane and secretory proteins are synthesized in the endoplasmic reticulum. Let's begin with a question for concept clarity. We know that RER is the site of membrane and secretory protein synthesis and it has ribosomes attached to the outer surface as you see here. But the question is, are ribosomes permanently attached to the rough endoplasmic reticulum? Actually, the ribosomes of the RER are not permanently attached to the membrane. They constantly attach and detach to the membrane as needed for protein synthesis. Translation of secretory or integral membrane proteins initiates in the cytosol, then ribosomes containing these mRNAs are recruited to the ER membrane and fuses with the membrane and finally releases a polypeptide to the ER lumen. Let us divide the entire process into simple steps for better understanding. Step 1. As you see, this is a mRNA that comes out of the nuclear pore into the cytosol or the cytoplasm. Then the ribosomes, step 1 is ribosomes assembles on mRNA. Larger subunit and smaller subunit of ribosomes binds to the mRNA. Step 2 is signal sequence synthesis in the amino acid terminus of nascent polypeptide. So this ribosome starts synthesizing a signal sequence, which is a hydrophobic amino acid sequence of 18 to 30 residues that is recognized by signal recognition particle, which is a protein. So step two, you can see this ribosome starts synthesizing signal peptide. In step three, you can see there are many free signal recognition particles that is present in the cytoplasm. It recognizes and binds to the nascent polypeptide ribosome complex. So this is a complex and this signal recognition particle binds to the complex or ribosome polypeptide complex and inhibits further translation. So protein synthesis is stopped. Then this SRP or signal recognition particle is an RNA protein complex that is abundant in cytosol, a universally conserved ribonucleoprotein that recognizes and targets specific proteins to the endoplasmic reticulum in eukaryotes and in prokaryotes it targets to the plasma membrane. Then step 4 is SRP then targets this entire complex. As you see, it is made up of ribosome, a nascent chain complex, a polypeptide with the signal peptide and that is bounded by SRP to the protein conducting channel that is located on the ER which is called as translocon. ER membrane, as you see, this is the translocon. This occurs via the interaction and docking or binding of SRP with its receptor. There is an SRP receptor that is located on ER membrane. SRP binds to this receptor. Step 5. Upon docking or upon binding, the nascent polypeptide chain is inserted into the translocon channel as you see here where it enters into the ER. Then protein synthesis resumes as SRP is released from the ribosome. Step 6. Once inside the ER, the signal sequence is removed from the core protein by an enzyme called signal peptidase, thus ensuring that signal sequence are not included or not there as part of the mature protein. Step 7. The SRP, SRP receptor complex dissociates via GTP hydrolysis and the cycle of SRP mediated protein translocation to the ER membrane continues. So once inside the lumen, following protein synthesis and translocation inside the ER lumen, a protein that is destined for secretion undergoes proper folding and modifications with the help of chaperones and folding enzymes. Modifications include disulfide bond formation and initial glycosylation and finally the folded processed protein is packaged in vesicles to Golgi apparatus and further modified there, processed there 
within the Golgi and secreted out of the cell by exocytosis. For more details, you can refer our video on endomembrane system where we discuss both the pathway, the secretory pathway and also the pathway that is where lysosome is involved. So these are the steps involved in the synthesis of secretory and membrane proteins in ER or endoplasmic reticulum. Hope you are clear. Take care. Stay blessed. Thank you so much. You are with biologyexamsforyou.com.